Got another one of those terrible builds, or try this build. Something with a DMR setup but split into two weapons, the CR805s. Using an Akimbo based setup and single fire, that's the gimmick of the build here, we don't have the single fire mod on because that reduces stability. And to be honest, you know what? It's so easy just to hit one key on your keyboard to change the fire mode anyways. So do that when you start this build or start the highest whatever. So anyways, the gimmick of this build is it's a DMR split into two guns. So you get two headshots with a Zerk based setup, however you want to Zerk with it. And that should perform the kill for a heavy seal unit. Everything else is just more ammo or, you know, from ammo efficiency aced for specials, dozers, that kind of thing. Otherwise, it's just a very standard setup for armor using a Zerk value for, you know, getting hit from a 225 shot and lowering your health to 5 HP and going from there. I will say the speed of killing things is obviously not the best because two weapons when a KS-12 or DMR would just be way more effective and a lot more consistent and obviously a hell of a lot faster would be better as a weapon choice for this build. As for the secondary, it's pretty standard. It's just another SMG for you to play with. I just chose the cross vertex due to, well, it doesn't get a lot of screen time. And yeah, I used armor in this example, so we have room for shock and awe aced just to take care of shields. So feel free to melee those or just shoot them more, <laughs> whatever. Otherwise, there's nothing really too much more fancy to talk about this build. I definitely do not recommend it but it is something to give note that Akimbo's can take advantage of the ammo efficiency aced, and with this Zerk base setup, you can pretend it's like a DMR and just click. However, it's not totally penalizing thanks to the CRO 805s and how good those stats are. In this build, I did manage to sneak in Surefire Ace. Now what that does is any heavy armored unit, such as the obviously the heavy zeal units that have armor, they can get hit on the chest and with enough damage they can get staggered. So what this means is if you accidentally miss your half a click with the Akimbos and hit a shoulder or something and the other one's ahead, well, thankfully you can stagger them a little easier and not necessarily die all the time. Because <laughs> I tried this without sure fire aced and it was terrible. I did down this run, it wasn't really the most cleanest run either, and like I said, these weapons aren't necessarily the best for a Zerk DMR setup nonetheless, when a DMR rifle would definitely perform much better. So anyways, give this a shot. It's uh, It'll be a test if you can handle Akimbo and hitting two bullets you know, on one head and getting your ammo efficiency aced back up. Maybe it might be more ammo efficient for you if you're a better aimer than me. But hey, until then, have fun with this and I'll see you next time. That sound is awesome. I'm gonna play with it more. I'm gonna play with it more. I'm gonna hear it. I'm gonna play with it more. That's like. Ah! With this paintball gun. Dude, I'm not even getting any kills. Partially due to the fact that Zerk was a little hard to obtain. Mm. I'm afraid now. Uh, do we have Blowtorch? Wing melts. Why it doesn't stagger? Is ordinancing ordinancing? This, this build is just so dumb. So dumb. Like any DMR would just outperform 
What's going on with us? I guess not entirely. Hello, how are you? It's the Akimbo 100 damage DMR. <laughs> so, I guess we'll just use burn sticks. Ain't hey, nothing spawning over there. The surefire ace is just nice for just in case stagger. Have your ad money? No. I wish, I wish Twitch would just stop automatically playing ads. It's pointless. I hate it. Another reason why I don't want partnership is the ads are just incredibly intrusive. Just so intrusive. Did they get the code? Did that dozer? Huh? That was weird. That was weird. Hello? What happened? My armor just died. Oh, whatever. I would have got cloaked anyways. I was literally looking at you. Hi. What's up? Fuck you. Go for another Zerk. I hate this kind of Zerk. Medic Dozer killed me. I think the Medic Dozer got some extra shots off because of the heavy. That's just shooting me. Alright, easy Zerk. I don't, I don't settle for 80. I hate 80. 80 is the sign of you downed. Go fix it. Become better. Become better. So we're becoming better. Mine. Dude, medic. Problem with doing this, I can't grab my ammo, so I'm gonna swap to this. This is for. Flash and clear, flash and clear. Cool, clear, What's good clear. Good clear. Oh, there's so many minigun dozer. Woo! That's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Good range for this. Oh, another flash. This one top build is so stupid. It's so stupid. How many minigun dozers did. Yup, yeah, dude. I'll oh, get rid of you yeah, because I'm lazy. Come on. Oh my god. Jesus. Another minigun dozer. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not cloaking me this time. Nope. Once is enough. Once is enough. Once for chat. Once for the chat. Another flash and clear. Ah! Ammo. Okay, we got our bullets back because holy crap, minigun dozer are spam. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, at least I kept up with the team, even though the Zerk was kind of late in the game. And of course, damage fall off with this just makes this build horrible. You may as well just be using the KS-12 due to the 200 damage it offers. Right? 
The the Akin build theory out of fives is just two one hundreds, right? But you may as well just use a two hundred KS twelve. That's why this build sucks. A two hundred KS twelve is just better. I mean I guess you got more spam, just like this minigun dozer. But like at what cost? Yeah, this is this is such a dumb DMR setup. Or like fake DMR. It works, but like why? Ow. I hear Dozer. Yeah. <laughs> this is so bad. I'll post this as a TCB, because like, that's kind of the idea of the build anyways. Also, flamethrower OP on Shackle. You will get out DPS at some point. Um, make a Valkyria DMR build? What the fuck? Dude. Dude. So yeah, if you don't like the KS-12, but you want the KS-12 functionality, you can split it into two guns. Into Serial 5. I use the other magazine for better stats. You could 100% do this with the Speedpool magazine. Yeah, but as you can tell, the stats go lower. But this, this is just comfortable anyways. This is just secondary SMG. Um, you can just pick whatever. I couldn't care less. I just picked this one because it sounded goddamn cool. So just mod it for accuracy and use fire control to take care of the rest. Um, ammo efficiency. So at the start of the match, use single fire. My default key is V. Um, I'm not sure what the actual in-game default is or what I change it to, whatever. So make sure you do that, otherwise, 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 this will not work. At all. So don't do that. Um, otherwise, it's a standard armor setup. I did have Surefire Aced in a DMR setup, because since we're shooting lots of bullets, you'll probably hit a shoulder shot, and since you need both of them to hit, in order to do the kill with the Zerk, it's like, ugh, it's a pain in the ass. So this helps for stagger and save your butt. As well as everything else across and standard berserker and akimbo i don't recommend the setup but at least it's something unique i guess so whatever 